Hi everyone, Bo Rohde, here from Houston, Texas. Uh, Going to come in and help you finish up this getting started with Mastercam. Uh, today we're going to talk about finishing Op 2. Uh, so we'll create us a stock model for the finish of Op 1, and then we'll get into creating our Op 2 setup. We finished our Op 1, we need to go ahead and create us a stock model for that. So first thing I'm going to do is come to my Toolpaths tab. And I'm going to come up here to stock model. Select my stock model. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to go ahead and call this op one complete. For my stock plane, it is going to be top. For my model, I'm going to use stock model and we'll use that op one rough uh, from the other series. So we already created one right over here for our stock model. So we've already got our face in our 3D uh, high-speed dynamic OptiRub. For our source operations, we're going to select Operation 4 and then I'll hold down my Shift key and go ahead and select Op 9. We want to use all of those. Um, I do want to come back and change my color. We did our Op 1 rough is orange. Uh, I want to change this one to just a blue color. That way it stands out from the other one. So we'll go ahead and green check to this. We'll let that regenerate. And you can kind of see our stock starting to come alive down here. You see we got what's left down there. So that's good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And once I save it, uh, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and get started moving my vise around so that I have, you know, a good example, kind of like from our first one. Uh, with my vise in the correct position uh, relative to where my part is. So in my levels tab, I'm going to come in, I'm going to just go ahead and make level three active or my main level. I'm going to turn off level one and level two, and I'm going to copy my vise to level 10. I already have level 10 made here. So I'm going to select my vise. I'm going to right click on here. In case you didn't know, you could do this. And I'm going to say Copy Entities. And then I'm going to come down here and select on Op 2. And I'm going to right click and I'm just going to say Paste Entities. So now I have my vise on level 10 now, which is going to be my Op 2. So I'm going to go ahead and make that active. And I'll turn off the visibility for my vise. Now we can still see our part in here. Uh, that's due to the fact that's our stock model that we created. So no worries there. And the first thing I need to do is I need to rotate this vise around. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to window select my whole vise. And I'm going to come up to my transform toolpath or transform tab. And I'm going to go ahead and go dynamic. So I'm just going to let this snap to my origin right here and I'll left click and I'm going to grab my arc. I'm going to just rotate this around my Y axis and I know I need to rotate that 180. So I'll type in 180, hit enter. It's going to show me the results. I can still change this if I need to, but this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter again. So now my vice is in position of the way it needs to be. And I'm going to go ahead and green check to this. Now, my Z is still pointing in the wrong direction for what would be our OP2. So now I need to go into my planes. And I'm going to go into my planes and I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to bottom. And I do have an OP2 bottom down here already, but we're going to create a new one. So eventually we're going to move the top of our WCS is actually going to be at the top of our finished part. So that's where we're kind of headed with this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to come down and say duplicate. And we'll leave this as bottom one for now. But I need to get my vise moved up to where my actual part is. So in my levels tab, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my solid part model and since my vice is still all purple that's showing that that's the results of my transform 
going to come to my transform tab and I'm going to go to dynamic. When I left click on dynamic, it's saying select the entities to move or copy. I'm going to come over here to my quick mass tab. And I don't know how many that is down there, but down there, kind of just a little past middle ways, if you hover over, it says select all result entities. So the results would be my whole vice. And I'm going to go ahead and say in selection. Now I get my dynamic gnomon, and I'm going to start on my back jaw of my vise, and I'm going to come let it snap to the center. Now I know that I'm snapped to the center of that line by the little icon there that shows a line with an X in the center, and I'm just going to left click there. So I need to align this back face of this jaw to the back face of my part. So first I'm going to move my X. That's just easy for me. My part's kind of up out of the way. So I want to just left click on, or excuse me, align my Y. Now I can move my vise and it allows me to move up and just be able to snap to the edge of the part where I want that face to be. So those two faces will now meet up. So I'll left click there. The next thing I need to do is move my Z. So I need to move my part up and I'm just going to go ahead and grab it for purposes now just to make it easy to that step. So I'm going to left click again on my Z and I'm going to move this up to where it snaps to that edge and I'll left click. Now if I look at my part from the side view, you can see my face is there and I'm holding on to it in Z. Now all I need to do is move my floating jaw and the floating jaw carrier. So I'm going to blue check and say, yes, I'm done with moving this, but I still want to make selections and changes. So I'm going to come in, I'm just going to select the carrier and the hard jaw, and I'll say in selection. Again, with my gnomon, so to speak, in hand, I'm going to let it snap to the front corner, and I just need to move in Y to this edge, so I'll select the green arrow and let it snap to this edge right here. Now it's moved my floating jaw up to the edge of my part, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and green check. Everything's where it should be. And now we can get into adjusting our plane to the top of our part.